Hello, welcome back to the channel. Uh, Bo has started to fall asleep behind me. This video then, uh, we are cracking out the fiberglass already on this project and those of you who followed the last project are now probably in fear for the life of the car. Don't be. This sort of fiberglass is the stuff that gave me the confidence to try and crack on with the last project and uh, suddenly realised I would be on my skill set. This stuff though I can definitely do, so let's get on with that now. One of the little jobs then I wanted to get on with uh, was doing that little bit of fiberglass repair to the bonnet. So this is the one affected area. And uh, that's the other. And basically what's happened there is um, they've had bonnet pins in. Um, somebody's tried to take the bonnet off or looks great without undoing the bonnet pins properly and um, just damaged it. So. I'm just going to patch that over and uh, then filler it and uh, then I'll just paint the whole thing up into the correct colour and we'll just start again with uh, new fittings. So just got the first little bit of fibreglass on the back there and a bit this side. This side's going to need a lot more building back up than the other one. But it's a start and let that dry and put a little bit more on. So I've done a bit more work on the bonnet and uh, they're at the point now where uh, once it's fully cured I'm going to want to sand them back. You can see here now it's just it's all nice and proud now of the actual bonnet line. So sand that back, a bit of filler, jobs are good in. Uh, what I'm going to start work on though now is some of these scratches and chips. You can see I forgot to start recording so I've actually started here already just sanding back. There's a few of those. There. The bit that's concerning me is here. I'm not sure how far that crack goes through. It just feels worse than it looks. So the intention is with that then I'm going to just start sanding those things back. Try and work out how bad that crack is on the side. I, something about it feels like it goes deeper than it looks like it does. Um, so it might end up having to sort of reinforce that on the back. Uh, but I'll update once it's on the back bit So that's all the high spots knocked off the uh, various gouges and so forth and just the top coat taken off the uh, the rest of it. So um, it looks like it's had a just a single layer of paint put over it at some point, um, which is weird, but there you go. On the fiberglass repairs, this side I've sanded back and did a, a little bit of a lip there, which I'm not very happy about, but I think once I put a uh, bit of P38 on there and knock it all back just to give it any low spots and so forth to be able to sort that out and um, the other side i've just done a, a quick start on that needs a load more work still yet um but i can't be able to do that tonight i've got parts to go and pick up so i'm going out in a second to go and pick up uh, the transmission mount for the car so i think it's a alich alichi 57 or whatever it's called um type 9 100e trans mount um, I had tried ordering one from him directly, but I got no communication, so this one came up locally, grabbing that one instead. You can probably guess what happened next. The one I ordered turned up, so I've actually sold the one I bought second hand, and it was actually brand new, unused, and the guy bought it and never fitted it, and, but I managed to get my money back for that straight away, so that was okay in the end. But now there, back to the bonnet. Done a little bit more work on this bonnet then, and sanded down this other side of the fiberglass. Uh, it's it's okay. It's this was the worst side, and it yeah, it still looks the worst side. But um, let's give a filler over that now, and uh, should come up all right. Feels like ages since I was last out here working on the bonnet, and uh, probably because it has been, uh, I've been do, busy doing other bits and pieces. But uh, tonight out here, I'm going to get some filler on the bonnet so we can uh, get it finally fully prepped for paint. Got the first coat of filler onto the bonnet. I think I've got all of the low spots, uh, so I'm gonna let that dry. Probably gonna give it overnight uh, rather than risk it not being fully set. Only area that I'm still concerned about is over here. So I think the plan with that section is gonna be, as I've suggested before, getting some fiberglass onto the back of it to reinforce it. But for now, I'm gonna let the filler dry and uh, then see how it all looks once that's done. I finally added that patch underneath the uh, cracked section on the top. Uh, so that's uh, about three layers in total on there. So I think that's gonna do the job nicely. 
just going to also put a bit of resin only on the top side just so it sort of seeps down into that crack just to help reinforce it a bit further. Uh, there we go, a bit of resin on there. So it may look like I've gone completely over the top. What I've done is just taken, you can't see this, the reflections, uh, just taken the resin right to the end of all the, the sort of spider webbing in the cracks. My thinking of that being that um, if I take the stuff all the way out there, those cracks are less likely to start up again later. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Bit of an experiment, but yeah, hopefully it'll work. Fiberglass is all dry now, and uh, Bonnet is, is feeling much stronger in that area, so I'm happy with that. Uh, time to sand it all back. So I've sanded back the bonnet, uh, pretty happy with it. A couple of areas I'm not so happy with. But generally speaking, that's looking pretty good. Obviously it's still wet at the moment. Um, so I need to let it dry and have a proper look at it once it's dry. Areas I'm not happy with. Um, not sure how well this is gonna come out on here, but I missed a load of scratches around here when I was doing the, the filler. So I need another go of filler over there. And just here, where I put the fiberglass resin on just to sort of reinforce this, I've got a bit of a lip there that I just can't seem to get out. So I need another crack at that. But other than that then, um, it's it's looking really good. And uh, obviously the strengthening has worked. That's, that's much better. So pretty much there. And uh, basically ready for paint. I think I'm going to end this video here then and um, in the next video you'll see me getting some paint on this thing. So as always, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for notifications on when the next video is coming out.